listening to Season 8 of the award-winning Home Ed Matters podcast. Brought to you from the West Midlands in the UK. We're just a regular family of five on a home education journey and we want to share our journey with you and encourage you on yours. So thanks for joining us and here's this week's episode. Hello everybody. Hello. Welcome to Home Ed Matters. Season 8. Episode 9. Episode 9. My name's Luke. And my name is Eden. Um, Thanks for joining with us. Yes, thank Um, you. It's beginning to look look a lot like like Christmas. Yeah, I've broken up for Christmas. Have you? Which is quite exciting. I finished my work. So we are counting down. Yes. And getting lots of things ready. I hope your Christmas preparations are going okay. I'm still quite behind on making my presents. Yeah, it's a tough balance, isn't it? Because you don't want... Like, we all want Christmas to be perfect, but it can be stressful if you feel under pressure to get lots of things done. Yeah, but I've got, I, I just, I need to focus on doing you and mommy. And they already done mirror bars and they need to finish ashes. You like making Christmas presents, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> In fact, all three of you have been good at making presents this year, which is it's great. Like Mirabelle only made them for mommy. Well, that's okay. Um, <laughs> and I know what they were. Well, that's okay. So, um, if you listened to us last season, um, when we were during in the strict lockdowns, we did something to cheer our neighbours up, which was called... Christmas Happy News. Well, it was just called Happy News. Yeah, but you fit down there because it's Happy News. I'm, build, I'm building up to it. I'm building up to it. It's like you told the punchline. Um, okay, rewind. Rewind, as usual. Um, we did something to cheer our neighbours up last year called... Happy News. Which And what was Happy News? Um, happy News. <laughs> it was like a newsletter yeah. that we posted round. All of the neighbours. And we got to know people really well from it, didn't we? Yeah, we we? did, yeah. And I made a friend. Yeah, we've made some friends. um, And And we thought we would do another one. So we haven't really done it most of this year. Well, all of this year. Yeah, did we do one? Yeah, maybe it was a 2020 thing, wasn't it? The last one was the Christmas Happy News. So we've done another Christmas Happy News, you and Asha. We have. Um, What kind of things were in it? Um, 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 Jokes. Yeah, jokes. I'm just trying to remember. Um, have I ever? Yeah. Or never have I ever? Ash did a colouring that you yeah, could colour. He did a drawing that you could do a colouring in. Didn't we have one about words. um? And, oh, and a word search. A word search and, and one about how many words can you get out oh, of yeah. Christmas? Yes, we had lots of things. And we have invited every all of our neighbours to something on Christmas Eve called Christmas Carol. <laughs> not quite, not Christmas carols with the cranks, but uh, Christmas, Christmas with carols. the cranks is a is a one of our favourite Christmas films. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to do outdoor, socially distanced. Probably might need to be by then. Um, mm-hmm. Christmas carols on our top drive, aren't we? Yeah. On on Christmas Eve. Yes. So I hope some people come. Do you think people Thanks. will come? I hope so. We think it would be a nice thing to do. We've we've yeah. just said just half an hour. Come, we'll light the fire pit. We'll sing some carols. We'll eat mince pies. Um, and we've already had one Christmas card back from people, haven't we? Oh, it's so nice, yeah. Saying that they weren't well enough actually to come, but they that the happy news really cheered them up. Yeah, which so is good. So that's really good, isn't it? Yeah. One of some of our more elderly neighbours. So it's good to um, do community stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Makes me proud. You and Asha did a really good job. <laughs> and, and then me, And then helped. you went and, yeah, and then you went and delivered them all, didn't you? Yeah. Made me feel like a Christmas elf, like sneaking around because it's quite early in the And morning. we discovered that actually one of the houses that we thought was on the next road... Is actually on our road. Which is a bit embarrassing because we haven't been doing it last no, night. No, well, letters but for they it. won't know, will they? But um, did yeah, you? Yeah, but I wonder, if they wonder chat if to come. everyone else. Well, that's okay. Maybe they'll. Um, I think they might come up to Christmas Carol, so that'd be nice. They gave me a cheery yeah. wave this morning as I went past Ooh, running. Nice. Um. Now, out outside our regular learning routine, um, mm-hmm. we like, we normally take December because we get so far ahead, don't we? Yeah. We normally uh, take December as a bit of a slower time, but we've been doing some special uh, projects, specific projects this this December. Yeah. Um, what is the main topic that you have been doing, all of you, um, which is linked to World War Two? Yeah, the Holocaust. Yeah, um, I was going to actually say the Advent Journals and Betty Daddy, but then I remembered the Holocaust. Yeah. <gasps> we need to do today's Advent Journal. Yeah, we can do today's Advent Journal. And yesterday's. So we've also been keeping Advent Journals, but um, our learning throughout December has been the Holocaust. Yes. Um, hard topic yeah. to go through. So some of the ways we've explored it is obviously through story because we 
we'll take a Charlotte Mason approach. So Mummy read Number the Stars to us. So tell uh, tell us about Number the Stars then. Um so it was quite a good book. Um and it was about people in um the Dutch Denmark um <laughs> and how they were protecting the Jews. But I actually thought like it went over quite quickly so I thought like actually by the time they'd ended it I would I would only say that's like a quarter of the way through of like the storyline yeah so it felt, felt like it ended too quickly okay so it was about yeah. um danish people mm-hmm. not dutch people because that's holland yeah um but yeah so in denmark yes people who were trying to protect the jews. protect the jews um yeah. and then and they actually did get away yeah which is great isn't because it because they um came up for came up with like a clever way to stop the german sniffer dog sniffing them out so that all of the jews could go to sweden well, that's really good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and that actually I think Sweden happened. were officially neutral, weren't they, in the Second World War? Yeah. Um, so, a bit like Switzerland. Um, and then you, the book you've been reading... Yes. ...is called... When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit. And, and that's actually by a famous author. Yeah, Judith Kerr. So Judith Kerr wrote... Mog. And... The Tiger Who Came to Tea. Yeah, I was going to say, and The Flying Doctor, because Mog from him is at no, Zog. Yeah, and that's it's, not, it's, not, it's not Zog, that was uh, <laughs> Julia Donaldson. But, um, but So what's good. Judith Kerr's story? Um, so it was how... Because this is um, a true story, isn't they it? They were, like, um, like, she lived in Germany until she was nine. Yeah. I think it was Germany. Um, yeah, it was. Um, and she spoke German, and then she went to Switzerland, and she still spoke German, and she stayed there for a year. I think, or like about that much, and then she went to France, um, and they learned to speak French really well. And then they went to England. And the reason they had to move around was because they were Jewish. They were a Jewish family. Yeah. So I mean, that's quite a lot of disruption, you know. Can you imagine if you were nine, and suddenly finding out that the country that you lived in, like the government, started to say that people like you weren't welcome anymore. Yeah, it's really sad. It is very, very hard, isn't it? It's a tough topic. So that's why I want to do it all in one go. Because um, we've been learning about World War Two. We have. So, um, and then have you been covering anything else around the Holocaust topic? Uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, have you learned about it in any different ways? Oh, yeah. We watched um, some, like, five episodes things about Anne Frank. Yeah, so the kind of the Diary of Anne Frank. We watched the BBC production of it. Oh, it's a BBC. I, I think it was BBC, yeah. Oh. Um so and what's her story? Um but most people already know her story done. I'm asking you though. <laughs> this is this is narration. <laughs> cheek cheek it's a bit of cheeky narration. <laughs> but, but more of a comparison. So she okay. what she was um, in Holland, wasn't she? Yeah. And she had to hide in her dad's office in a secret annex with lots of other people. Um and there was like eight people there, and she, and eventually she had to sadly die in a concentration camp. Yeah, very very sad that really. Yeah. Um, and then just today, you mm-hmm. and Asha and Belle have started watching a new cartoon. Well, mm-hmm. new to you, but it's a cartoon about the experience of um, some French children in the Second World War. Yeah. What's it called? trying to remember the long long holiday the long long holiday so so far we've just i don't through think they're jewish 1940 yeah. no i think it's just the experience of of war but from there so yeah we're, we're, we're getting into the realms of living memory because uh, grandpa was born in 1943 um which grandpa your my daddy yeah your grandpa was born in 1943 obviously grandpa peter great grandpa peter lived mm-hmm. through the war yeah. Granddad Major, um, your great granddad on the other side was um, was, was a was a gunner, a gunner at the back of the bomber cruise. Yeah. And never wanted to talk about it because it was too traumatic. So you know we are because we've been following like the history of the world, haven't we? We've we've gone yeah. through it kind of chronologically, mm-hmm. um, and we're up Apart to the twentieth century. Apart from when we did the, lot, the Harry Potter year, and yeah, and we did like the Egyptians and stuff. Yeah, but broadly the art, the bit, the broad sweep of history, you know, yeah. we're halfway through the 20th century now. So. Yeah, but I find it more interesting, really, because, like, people can remember it. Like, in the Middle Ages, it's just, like, war, 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 battles, plague, fire, war. Yeah, it was you know? a bit hard. So like, I think, was, didn't we decide the 1600s were a tough, a yeah, tough decade, a tough um, century had, to live in? They had the bubonic plague, then they had the civil war, then they had the great plague, 
And then they had um, the Great Fire. So, yeah. yeah. Rubbish century. Tough century to England. live in. Well, and the, the, set, the 20th century was a tough century for many people. Yeah, but, like, for England specifically, I wouldn't say it was as bad. I'd say the 1600s for England was worse. Yeah, it probably was, yeah. Well, it definitely was, Dad. They have a civil war, two plagues, great yeah, fire. Yeah, that does sound tough. Right, well, we'll take a pause there. And Thank when we come did. back, Asha will join us and we'll talk about some of the things we are looking forward to for Christmas. Yeah. See you in a sec. You're listening to the Home in Matters podcast. Okay, we are back. We are back in the Lego room. We're on our what we call our Lego landing. <laughs> yeah. um, what, what are you making, Asha? Landing. Um, it's like sound okay. waves. You're making sound waves? Yeah, just there. Waves. Oh, yeah, I, I like them. Um, you might be able to hear the guinea pigs in the background. They're very excited. They're Wanted squeaking. To be part of the, uh, <laughs> part of the show. Pardon? They want to be part of the show. <laughs> now, um, earlier this week, we were, well... Sure. You on one of your clubs that you go to one evening is by a local <laughs> church. Yes. And you had taken part in a funny video that we saw earlier this week. Ash, do you yes. want to talk about talk about it? Um, it was really funny because uh, they were like all the grown ups from it, um, her acting out and her and um, and they all had um, children's voices. They had children's and there voices. was no script, so because it was like us narrating it, and um, we just did so, it ourselves. So Let's rewind. It was really what, funny. what story were you telling? The nativity. You're telling the nativity story. Not to- the film. As as in the As in the actual in story. In your own words. Yeah, and in our own words. And it was so funny, Daddy. It was, it, so it was twenty minutes long in the end, wasn't yeah. it? Um but I thought it was much far funnier than I expected it to be. Yeah. And what was um, your best bit, Eden? Um it would have to be at the end where one of the younger members of it I was doing a like my segment with her and some other girls and um <laughs> i said and it, did you like it daisy and she was like how do you know my name that was funny wasn't it what was your funniest bit ash um probably the bit where mary had a wee high voice yeah because the the grown-ups to... were were miming yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and, 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 me. yeah and she said and she said um I am the Lord's servant. Maid, Maid servant. servant or something, something like that. Or something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she literally and, um, mimed or and, something like that. And um, like when people were saying the angel gave you those bits, and we were like umming and harring. Um, it was funny because the angel was doing that too. Yeah, it was well, like, it was very funnily I'm, acted. I'm come to telling you that, um, um, what was it again? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it was really funny. So that was, that was really funny. We've actually got a DVD of that, which we'll watch with. Grandma and Granddad, yeah. I think, Christmas soon. Day, um, now, each day you've been doing your Advent journals. Yes. Well, the intention yeah. is to do them each day. We don't always. Um, <laughs> what kind of things are you going to be putting in today, Eden? I don't know. Oh, do you, have things. you got much to catch up on, Ash? Uh, yeah, I've got about five days. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I think I've got, days. like, I think I've got yesterday and today. And um, each We've day, your, your, your Advent calendar... That mummy made you. Yes. Uh, that she downloaded is like full of facts each day, isn't it? Yeah. Fun facts so, like, about something facts else and an activity. And, um, and then we can put in a timeline up. Yeah. Laminated so timeline. There's, like Christmas spied. So oh, what, sorry. What are some of the actually. What are some of the different bits that you've done then? Christmas spiders. Well, so what was that about? Um, it was like how in a particular part of the world, um, it's like to be. It's considered good luck to find a little spider on your Christmas tree. Or oh, just a good. spider on your yeah. Christmas tree. Um, any other fun ones? Um, mistletoe, feasts. Um, what was the one yesterday? Saturnalia? No, that wasn't actually yesterday, Daddy. That was Saturday's, but it was a day behind. But yeah, it was a Roman festival of Saturnalia. <laughs> the theme, maybe you can relate to this theme where you've got so much to do in December that you, you get a bit behind. You get, it's yeah. hard to catch up. Yeah, especially because, like, we do, I usually do my advent calendar in the morning. Yeah. But when I have lions, I don't. Having, you've been luxuriously having lions, all of you, haven't you, in the mornings, which is great. Yeah, but only <laughs> since Friday, because that's when our weekend starts. Um, so, Asha, yeah. what are you most looking forward to eating over Christmas? Pigs and blankets. Oh, OK, good one. How about you, Eden? What are you most looking forward to eating over Christmas? Sweets. I always think Christmas dinner would be so much nicer, Dad, if it was just like pizza, Hawaiian I'm, pizza. I'm looking forward to the whole, like, the whole experience of Christmas dinner. 
I really like. I'm looking like. forward to sweets and pavlova um, and food. Okay. How? What Max. are you most looking forward to doing, Asher, over Christmas? Playing with my new presents, if I get any. If you get any, <laughs> and not just a lump of coal. <laughs> I hope I do, because there's a present under the Christmas tree for me. Well, that's pretty good. So, what, I what? so I'll get at least one present. Yeah. Okay, so you're most looking forward to presents and playing with them. Yeah. Eden, what are you most looking forward to? Um, Other than the fact that it's the birth of Jesus. Yeah, other, I guess, of course, that important point. <laughs> yeah. Um... um well, hopefully your side of the family coming round a couple of days after Christmas. Yeah. If we're allowed to of the COVID situation. Omicron, yeah. Okay. And I'm also looking forward to getting presents from Santa. Um, and things. It's just the name of the, the different variant. It's a Greek letter. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Oh, wait, what, they uh, had a letter, Omicron. Yeah. Well, that would and be so, so long to say if you were doing it alphabet like A, yeah, B, I, The Greek C, alphabet was different. Omicron. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, what, Asha, are you, are you, who, who are you most looking forward to seeing over Christmas, Ash? Um, all of your family. Okay, which are, who are also your family, by the way, because, yes. you know, we know we're related. I know. Okay, good, just checking. Um, <laughs> Eden, what are you most looking forward to watching over Christmas? Telly. What, anything, anything specifically on telly? I'm also looking forward to watching our grandma and granddad skit. Okay. Um, oh yeah. And all of the Christmas movies and special special Christmas TV. Yeah. Yes, yes. You do, Asha. And um, when I say um, um, all of your family, I meant all of the family on your side. You, I know what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you most looking forward to watching over Christmas, Ash? Um, TV. Okay. I'm looking forward to. Um, there's that new Disney film, Encanto. Oh yeah. It's coming I out. Watch I think that. we might watch it on Boxing Day. Yeah, I want to watch Plus. it. Because the main the... character's called Mirabel, and know, I have yeah. a sister called Mirabel. So do I. Know, I. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, no, Ash, that's wrong. Only I have a sister called Mirabel. No, you both have sisters called Mirabel. Um, <laughs> but it just happened to be the same sister. Now, stuff. speaking of which, um, I did do a little recording with Mirabel a moment ago what? just oh. to talk about what she was looking forward to for Christmas. So here is that. Right, I'm sitting here with Mirabel. Hi, Mirabel. Yeah. Hi. Um, what are you most looking forward to about Christmas? Um, I'm looking forward to doing my presents. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, I hope I'm on the good list. Yeah, I hope you're on a good list. What are you going to um, bake with Grandma this week, hopefully? Uh, mince pies. Oh, what's your favourite food at Christmas time? Chocolate. <gasps> Anything spe- specifically Christmassy that you like eating just at Christmas time? Uh, peppermint creams. Oh, yeah, you're going to make some with Eden later? Yeah. That would be really good. And who are you most excited to see over Christmas? Uh, Papi and, Rebe- Papi and Willow. Your cousins, yeah. Uh, anybody else? Um, Ted and Elle. No, uh, yeah, why have we seen your baby cousins, yeah? Uh, yeah. Now. Yeah, that would be good. great. And, and Georgie. What is the best bit about reading Jotham's journey in the evenings? Uh, what did you say again? What's the best bit about reading Jotham's journey in the evening? Um, how about when you carried me in yesterday? So... Snuggling down on the landing and then being carried into bed afterwards. Yeah! That is a good bit. Right, should we say goodbye to everyone? Bye! Bye, see you next time. What did she actually say, Daddy? Well, you have to, you'll have to listen back <laughs> and find out. On Amazon um, Music. Now, other platforms uh, are available. Other platforms are available. I think <laughs> that's probably the end of this episode. We've. Um, oh, oh, no, hold on. Yeah. We did a little recording. Um, we were out and about oh, earlier. Yeah. Um, we went for a, a walk for some fresh air. Yeah. So here's our recording of that. Oh, Hi. It's the Hi. week before Christmas. And we drew the century. And we're out for some fresh air. We are. Yeah. Um, we've just been walking up a hill near us. Really we haven't Kent Hill, been haven't we? We've been running up the hill. Ash has been running up the hill. Don't go too far, Belle. Mirabelle's walking up. Oh, it's a bit like it's been smile. really... What's the weather been like the last couple of days? Misty and cold. Frosty. And... Yeah, well, but um, it's the mist. mist. It's still a bit misty. Yeah. It reminds me of... Uh, it's a bit hobbity, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah, it's a lovely spaniel. Oh, and, uh... Oh, um, what are you going to make of it later? 
peppermint, peppermint creams. creams. That'd be really good. So Wait, we've there. got activities planned all week. Mirabelle's yes. the sous chef. Yeah, Mirabelle's the sous chef. What's your favourite thing about making peppermint creams, Vera? Yeah, we're going to do the mixer. Yeah, we use the mixer. Ash, what do you want to say? Yeah, and um, my favourite bit about making them is eating them. That, that is a good <laughs> I bit. I thought you would say that. All right, who's ready to uh, head on down? Oh, we go going Daddy, to do, But Daddy, I thought we were going to go back home because I said we'd go home and we and yeah, we were at so, the top of the hill. But we've got to head on down the hill before we can go home. I know, we need to go down that way. We do. Right, well, let's go then. <laughs> okay, then. Right. Bye. <laughs> Why are you laughing and we've got, at fresh air? <laughs> and we've got more activities coming up um, this side of Christmas. And I reckon we'll, so we'll probably have one, one more episode before yeah. the end of the year. We'll do a bit of a wrap up. Yeah, and so, then we'll have the start of the new year. Yeah, exciting. exciting. Well, we'll talk about that next time. But yeah. in the meantime, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, thanks for all your support. All the details to get in touch coming up. Please get in touch. Please get in touch. And we yeah. will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> You've been listening to the Home Ed Matters podcast. We love hearing from you, so email us to homeedmatters at gmail.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Home Ed Matters and visit our website at www.homeedmatters.co.uk. If you're enjoying the show, please leave us a review wherever you listen, like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher or Spotify. Thanks for joining us and enjoy your home ed journey this week. They say absence makes the heart grow fond. Well, I've grown quite fond of you. Some people may think you're strange, but... I think I'm strange too It's raining outside And it's raining inside too I wanna go home a place where I'm known And where I know you Walk familiar streets